welcome to Fandemic, where we thoroughly analyze various types of independent or fan-made media. I'm your host, Indie Fan. Let's talk about Vipsy Pop, shall we? Born in Frederick, Maryland on October 28th, 1992, Vivian Medrano, aka Vivsy Pop, would find her passion for animation after watching Bambi. She practiced her craft through pausing anime films for her favorite movie expressions. During the third grade, her class gave her access to an animation program with about the same amount of tools as Microsoft Paint. Insert the shit joke here. And this would be where her love for the art form would show. Upon getting older, she later fell in love with darker animation upon watching Batman the Animated Series, Invader Zim, and various works by Tim Burton. 2010, 2011, and 2014, she would be featured in drawing tutorials online. And she attended a school of visual arts in New York City for traditional art and graduated in 2014, where she would make her thesis film, Timber, which would win the 2014 Dusty Award, as well as being uploaded on her YouTube, which was founded two years earlier. In the year 2016, she would then move to California, where she would work as an animator for the series too loud on DreamWorks TV, as well as provide the voice of Sarah with an H alongside other characters, as well as work on other shows like Bad Luck Jack, as well as the Ten Goblins Summer Camp in Paris, France, even working on personal projects like Zoophobia and founding her personal animation company, Spindle Horse Tunes. Then, on the same day as her birthday, she would make the pilot of a series that would not only be picked up by Studio A24, but its pilot would pick up 5.3 million views, that being known as Has Been Hotel. Carefully planned for years on end, it got so big it spawned a loving fan base. Steven Novak from the Oswagonian student newspaper praised the animation, writing and characters in Has Been Hotel. However, he criticized the songs. Another reviewer, Matthew Fled, argued that the pilot was part of the animation renaissance on YouTube. Matt Smith, not that one, of another student newspaper, The Harpenter, shared in the notion. CBR animation critic Ruben Barron stated that while the pilot episodes of Has Been Hotel and Hell of a Boss had garnered some warrant and criticism because they're inappropriate and edgy humor, they are still clear labors of love from an animation standpoint. Another critic on CBR, Narissa Rupanarin, pointed out that Alistair is on the small list of Ken asexual characters within animation. Charlie Cheats of Cultured Vultures stated that Has Been Hotel is an example of how traditional methods of television production are changing. It posted a possibility of YouTube being used to change the balance of power between the creator and networks in favor of creators. It also states that the show represents a clear change in traditional media and called the pilot a well-designed bit of animation, which deserves a watch, which is echoed by others, which say it will have a positive influence on independent animation going forward. Some even said that the success of Hasbun Hotel led to the pilot of Hell of a Boss, which we'll review later. Reviewer Sean Kabilis praised the show for quirky, ambitious, and dark humor, and some of the fastest, wittiest, and raunchiest dialogue ever seen in independent animation. The bigger question now is this. Is it any good? Well, let's find out as we dig into the pilot of Hasbun Hotel. So the pilot opens up with the protagonist, which we will get to later, singing without revealing in the lyrics and rather through visuals that in hell, to avoid overpopulation, angels descend from heaven to wipe out demons in a purge event called a cleanse. The thing I must note here, the song I'm Always Chasing Rainbows really adds the sense of dread as well as the setting and visuals in hell. So after a random demon gets flattened, we then meet Angel Dust, played by Michael Kovac. After having a one-night stand with a limousine driver, as well as hijinks involving someone stealing Angel's drugs, we then see Sir Potentious, played by Stamper, attacking Hell along with his minions, the Egg Boys, played by Joe Gran. During his monologue, his ship gets attacked by a one-eyed demon, no, not that one, Cherry Bomb, played by Crystal Laporte, igniting a turf war that gets the attention of the news in Hell and its anchors, Kitty Killjoy, who basically looks like the hellish equivalent of a Karen. You're gonna look at me and tell me I'm wrong? And Tom Trench, played by Faye Matta and Joshua Tamara, respectively. All that and more after the break. Suck it up, you little. You know, something tells me in her previous life, she gave birth to this douche. We then meet the before mentioned protagonist, Charlie Maine, and her girlfriend, Faggy, voiced by Jill Harris and Monica Franco, respectively. Wait, Charlie Maine.
system. Things sound more exciting. Oh, what if I sing a song about it? You knew I was gonna say that. Because I know you, but please don't sing. This is serious. She's totally gonna sing. And so she enters the newsroom to talk about her project, The Happy Hotel, which is meant to be an alternative to the mass slaughter of her kind at the hands of the angels. Eh, because they're demons, they basically think this. What you just said is one of the most insanely idiotic things I have ever heard. At no point in your rambling, incoherent response were you even close to anything that could be considered a rational thought. Everyone in this room is now dumber for having listened to it. I award you no points, and may God have mercy on your soul. Feeling that she isn't reaching them, she basically decides to do it in a different approach. Insult. Hey, who turned off the light? <laughs> All right, on another note, it could be me, but when it comes to the song, Inside Every Demon is a Rainbow, you can feel the cringe from Baggy. Not saying it's bad, I mean, there's worse, but the song's nothing to write home about, although that may be me and my social awkwardness. It's a jolly, happy, cupcake-loving child. Uh, Kodak would beg to differ. As well as history. And the funny thing is, the audience actually agrees with me. Wow, that was shit. <laughs> <laughs> However, she tries to counter this by staying there with a client, Angel Dust. But... Trouble for two weeks now. Breaking news! We are receiving word that a new player has entered the ongoing turf war. Let's go to the live feed. Those are ambassador. Charlie takes her pen and insults her, and that leads to another fight. Bitch! Let's go! Okay, on a serious note, I need to talk about some of the animation. While it is good from time to time, other times it appears glitchy. I mean, you can clearly see no bullets are coming out of Angel's gun. I mean, how hard is it to edit in firing effects? I can do it. In fact, I have a bunch of five cents and I can still do it. Watch! It's just sad! Yeah, I mean, seriously. It's like my background now being changed from day to night. Wait. God damn it! So after the events that unfolded, we come to an upset Charlie and a Baggy who clearly is not happy. What? 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 What were you doing? I owed my girl buddy a solid. Isn't that a redeeming quality? Helping friends with stuff? Not with turf wars that result in territorial genocide. Eh, you win some, you lose a few hundred. <laughs> I mean, hey, at least you're not Amber Heard. So as they return, Charlie begins to have doubts about her passion project, even calling Lilith, her mother, that her father, Lucifer, may have been right. I don't know if I'm going to make a difference. I don't know what I'm doing. I could really use some advice, Mom. I... I think Dad was right about me. And that was Hasbro Hotel. Time my pro- Okay, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. So after the phone call, we then see Al's- Holy shit, that guy's tall. Hello! Oh! Hey, Baggy? What? The radio demon is at the door. What? Uh, who? What should I do? Uh, well, don't let him in! You know, I'm starting to think Xandra was onto something. Anyway, Alistair, played by Edward Bosco, enters the hotel, but not before Baggy has a spear aimed at his neck. I know your game, and I'm not gonna let you hurt anyone here, you pompous, cheesy talk show shitlord! Dear, if I wanted to hurt anyone here, I would have done so already. I have just wet myself. 
And now, let's go. So, as Alistar basically states, he's only trying to help Charlie out of sheer boredom. We then learn what made Vaggy so scared of Alistar, and, well, let's just say... He's not a man to be fucked with. Something tells me he would give this guy a run for his money. So Charlie agrees to have Alistair join them, under the condition that there are no shady strings attached, and Alistair accepts the deal and gives the hotel a new makeover, including Nifty, played by Michelle Marie, and Husker, played by Mick Lauer. And one kick-ass song! What can I say about this lovely track? Alistair's reprise has all the energy and joy that inside every Demon Has a Rainbow wished it has. Too bad it got interrupted by Serpentius. Well, well, look who it is harboring the striped freak. I mean, hey, at least he gets his ass kicked by the radio demon. So with that, our movie ends with the Happy Hotel changing its name to the titular title, The Has Been Hotel, soon followed by a menacing evil laugh. And that was Has Been Hotel. Time for my pros and cons. Though it is faulty from time to time, the animation's amazing, jokes are hilarious, songs are passable, but Alistair's reprisal is probably the best. Characters stand out, acting is top notch, and the story has potential. Final analysis is an A+. Plus. Oh, this is going to the list of bang. Hey, everybody, we're all gonna get laid. <laughs> So yes, all in all, this is well-deserved when it comes to praise. The pilot's available on YouTube, so link in the description down below. If you have a chance to watch it, don't let it pass you by. Well, that's all for today, everyone. I'm an E-Fan, and I'll catch you next. Wait. Huh. You know, this, uh, tread uh, in the season has been quite easy. Uh, What's next on the reviewing list? Uh